Well, that was sure fun. <laughs> Computer decided that, uh, you know what? Actually, you can't stream. I am gonna make you look like a jerk. Oh, shut up, Streamlabs. I know you don't need that much CPU. Don't be such a jerk about this. This is ridiculous. You do not need that much. I know you don't need that much. You can run on half of that fine. What is wrong with you? There we go. No, no, that wasn't an invitation to go back up, Streamlabs. Get down. Get down from there. Down. <sighs> this computer. Streamlabs, why are you so shitty, huh? Gonna work this time? Probably not, but I figure I might as well ask. Get whatever it is that it's doing. I've got art to do. Let's get started. where if Streamlabs is going to decide to crash on me, I am just going to have to go to PNG mode for today because I am not dealing with the absolute miserable headache that is all of the CPU this thing wants to eat today. You're not usually this bad, you little shit. Such a little shit. Well, no sense in focusing on it, I might as well just try to draw. Anyways, this one's gonna be a little tougher than usual because I'm working with someone who is got an animal head dealie going on. Kind of got a reference for what I want to work with though. Not the easiest angle, but I'm hoping that having the reference will mitigate that at least a little bit.
thank you to whoever my mystery viewer is this time. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Might be misplaced confidence, but I still appreciate it. something here to work with for my values. I can't even see those. You jerk. Okay, at least I know the background music is coming through. That's good. Now let's go back to... No, no. Let's go back to performance mode before the computer decides it wants to poop itself. It is being such a brat today. I do not know why. Well, I mean, I kind of know why. It's because my computer is really, really bad, but, um, yeah. Not too, too much I can really do about that, can I? Not right now, anyway. The heck with it. Let's let's give myself a um, some symmetry to work with. The newest version of the software that I'm using, as bad as it is, does have the symmetry feature finally, so that should hopefully save a load of time in terms of drawing and flipping things over. I can work with that, kind of. Sort of curved fingers. Dang, the model for this reference photo is very, very cut. Cut than I can manage to draw, but uh, fortunately, Hades is also uh, a lot more clothed, so I shouldn't really have to worry about it that much. Hmm, <sighs> yeah, still, still maxing out there, huh? That's real cool, you computer. Oh, if this keeps up. Got the PNG tuber back up. I wonder who is even watching right now. It's always so discouraging sometimes, you know? Just kind of feel like you're talking into the void. And not even like the fun Nietzsche kind of void that can sometimes talk back to you. Know? Just a void. Hmm. Hmm, not particularly. 
particularly good at drawing hands. To no one's surprise. goofy looking pose I can feel. Mm, let's try going back to the drawing board a little bit, I think. I'm not super satisfied with how that one was turning out, so let's see if I can't remodel and get something a little nicer looking. Just get the sitting posture right first before I consider the arms. Looks like the computer is still holding steady, at least for now. So you don't got anyone? Maybe. Can't quite tell. Says I'm streaming to someone, though. image down. Sometimes I gotta make room. Mm -hmm. 
little small. Because I want to be able to put in his cool chair too. Still on the line. On the line. Ba -da -da -da. Love isn't always on time. -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Love isn't always on time. Keep on walking, don't look back to get to the bottom land. so I can get a clearer look.
I definitely not put it in those channels. You should have done that. I'll do that now real quick. Mmm, it's gonna chug though. It's really gonna chug. This conversation up here, I gotta check on. Stabilize CPU usage, or are you just gonna be a jerk? Hey, you know what? If I'm gonna have to use all of this CPU anyway, I'm gonna at least listen to tunes until I crash. And then probably still listen to tunes after that anyway. Anyway, let's get back to drawing. For now, at least.
Oh, hey, Sylvie. Glad to see you around. Welcome to the chat. Feel free to make yourself at home. Uh, welcome also, Captain Dong, <laughs> Dong Copter. Don't think I've seen you around before, but good to have you. I mean, that's a nice furry guy, right? But can you draw a pumpkin? Hmm. I mean, I guess I could. Um, pretty sure. Oh, uh, I'm drawing a friend of mine, Hades, he is, well, uh, he is the god Hades, uh, but reinterpreted with kind of like this, yeah, it, it's reinterpreted with this kind of almost like Egyptian idea of the animal-headed gods. But, uh, yeah, he's a design for an up-and-coming VTuber who is also a friend of mine. Pumpkins will be... That's kind of, uh, pumpkins will be graded, by the way. Okay, um, yeah, I can, I can take a break to draw a pumpkin real quick. Uh, let's see, so pumpkin, go like that, then go like that. And then go, go like that. And then go like that. Go like that. And then like at the top, do a little bit of these. And then we're gonna put a stem up here. And the stem is gonna attach to a vine gonna be all curly. There's gotta be like little leaves coming off the vine. pumpkin. Uh, and since you said pumpkins will be graded, let me uh, take care of that for you too. There we go. One A plus pumpkin just for you, Captain Dong Copter. Also, while I have you here, uh, Sylvie, how have you been doing? I feel like since I'm not able to be super active on as many of the Discord channels as I like, I don't really get a chance to talk to cool people like you all that often, but uh, how are you doing? No, I don't want to zoom that far out. Okay, and then in the background of this, we've got to have his chair. That's going to be like... are a little too curvy. Yeah, let's scale them back a little bit. Um, I don't totally remember how their cool chair looks, so I'll have to wing that one, but well, this is just a doodle, so that is fine. That's my mantra this year with my art. That's just fine.
This is also just the sketch layer after all. So I'm allowed to make mistakes and imperfections because I will go back later to fix them. Not now. Mm, I squint at this real hard. Almost looks like a chair. I can give myself that. Alright, so I think the way that this part went is it like comes down and there are gonna be these cool looking dog head. That's the word in the chair. try and puzzle this out, uh, yeah, puzzle this out. Uh, how, how have you been, Sylvie? Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to use the full chair ref anymore. But if I switch that now, I've got to find where I put the put the ref stuff. It's gonna be a pain. So I guess I'll just keep going with it for now. Oh, that's right. I forgot I can put I can just put on the symmetry again. Turn that back on. That'll make it a little easier. Ooh. I hadn't intended it to look like that, but uh Sure, I'll take it. Kind of go down, and then because they're uh, armrests, they gotta flare out again, kind of like that. Uh, yeah, that almost looks like a thing. Yeah, that's almost a thing. Almost a thing. Mm, I, I guess you're busy. Thank you. Either way, though, even if you can only lurk, I do appreciate hanging out with you. And the top kind of goes into a third. It's a really fun design that I know I'm not going to be able to do justice, but uh, basically the concept is that uh, in this design, Cerberus is a dog, but Cerberus can also turn into his throne. So I'm trying to kind of interpret it that way. It's not super successful, I feel, at least, because I am my own biggest critic. But it's, it's probably successful enough, at least. Mm -hmm. It is just very nice to have company.
see if I can find the ref again. I'm not comfortable doing this bit without the ref. And I gotta see if I can grab that again. Well, at least the stream seems fairly stable for now. if I can get away with turning on the music again so I don't have to listen to the deafening silence of my own uh, inability to hear my background music. first it'd be better to mute the background music here and then put it on over here I said over here Any second now. There we go. Yeah. Oh, hey, Galaxy Nova. Um, welcome to the chat. I'm going to be doodling something for uh, one of my friends slash followers slash mutuals. Uh, it is of their VTuber Sona. Uh, Hades here. Let me let me quickly make sure that I can actually see everything I'm doing here. Turn up the volume a little bit and turn it down a little bit in here. But uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Uh, bleh, bleh. Welcome to the stream, Galaxy Nova. It's a pleasure to have people here. Mm. Sorry, I'm just playing around with the audio levels to make sure the music can be audible. Kind of, hopefully. All right, now let's see if I can get that reference pick somewhere. Or if I'll just have to work with uh, eyeball in it. Oh, sure. Um, my pronouns are either they, them, or she, her. I don't have a particular preference which, so you can use either. But I usually try to do some sort of art stream at least, at this point, twice a week. So most of the time I'll be doing either this or I'll be doing some light gaming streams. Hey sugar, welcome. But yeah, thanks for, thanks for stopping by regardless of, uh, Regardless of how long you decide to stay, I always appreciate people hanging out. And welcome, Sugar. Uh, this is what I have so far. I remember exactly zero of how the throne is supposed to look, so I'm just kind of bullshitting it at this point. <laughs> Yeah, 
feel like it's got to have little pops. Because Cerberus, even when Cerberus is a chair, Cerberus is still a puppy. So, gotta have pops. <laughs> all right if you say so as long as as long as it comes out all right I don't mind if it looks a little silly gotta keep people on their toes wondering why the chair keeps changing uh but yeah uh galaxy sugar how, how are you two doing My ramen isn't cooking all the way. How I did it correctly. Hmm. That's strange. Ramen isn't usually known for being particularly hard to cook. Well, assuming that you're doing like some kind of the instant ramen stuff. But then again, I'm also the kind of person that has trouble recognizing when water is boiling, so maybe I'm not the best uh, judge of that. I haven't been doing very well, but I'm trying to change that. I'm doing my homework right now and watching. <laughs> well, thank you, sugar. I appreciate it, both the attention and the, uh, the news that you're trying to do, trying to feel a little better. I'm happy to hear that. same? Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I know how that feels. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna kind of do it like that, maybe, for now. And then at the top, it looks like it's one of these kind of collars. I got a massacre a magazine and stick the little color pieces to some sketch paper. This is a college class. Well, it sounds like a fun college class, if you ask me. I assume that's for some kind of like a uh, visual arts class. Also, congrats for, uh, for getting into the college. Good, quick moment to save what we got so far. Color theory, taking it for transfer. That sounds fun. I didn't really get to do a lot of visual art classes when I went to Cryptid University, at least not for the first few years. When I did finally get to do them, I was a little out of practice, had a few panic attacks and minor crises, but it, it was still goodish. The teacher is not so nice, so I gotta make sure I do this right. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Good and bad professors can really make and break your college experience, so I hope that yours end up being more good than bad. Oh, good! Honestly, college is when you really get to be able to make connections with your teachers and other staff outside of your uh, actual classroom experiences. I knew her before she was the professor. Oh, good for you. Always, has, always good to have that kind of social edge going into stuff. 
I'm magic. I fixed the ramen by doing nothing. You know, if all it takes is doing nothing to fix it, then congratulations. <laughs> you, you are a cook. You are a successful cook now. I deem you successful cook. Probably gonna be doing something like this, I think, for the fingers. <laughs> you are the Ramsey, that's right. Mm. Not sure about those. Let's try that again. Put it in here, maybe? It's a little worse, yeah. Let's see. Gotta look at my hands again. Okay, so if it's like the bad thing is I bake and cook big things and I somehow messed up ramen. I'm a good cook, I swear. If it means anything to you, Galaxy, I believe you. I'm literally some rando that you decided to watch on the internet, though, so I don't know how much my opinion should be valued. Hmm. <laughs> You know what? Let's make this a fully tented hand instead of a uh, curled up one. I think that'll look a little less weird. Yeah. If there's one thing that I can do as a... Yeah. That's right. If there's one thing that I can do as an incredibly uh, unimportant internet person, I hope that it is to bring validation to people. Maybe something like that. So what other things do you like to cook? close enough that I'll remember what I mean. Oh, and while I wait to hear back from our resident cook, uh, Sugar, what other classes are you doing? I'm watching a video for the second piece of homework as well, and it's giving me an existential crisis? Oh no. Um, I'm not sure what to say. You think that you're going to be alright for that? I mean, you shouldn't push yourself. As a warning for nudity for some reason, and also said, is color real? I... Hmm. That's a, that's a question. I, I feel like that's one of those questions, though, that... Oh, yeah. 
Oh, and also, hey, Hemlock. It's, ex it's just especially exceptionally deep for a community college course. Yeah, I, I can see that. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? But yeah, it's one of those questions where on the one hand, you can look really deep into the science behind it and think about how, okay, well, technically color, what we see as color is literally just the object absorbing all of the wavelengths of light that wasn't uh, that wasn't re that wasn't reflected, so it's literally all of the colors except what we see. But at the other hand, it's just like, yeah, color is real. Oh yeah, I was curious about what other stuff you like to cook. All right, now time to go back and make things start to look a little nicer. Oop, wrong layer. Okay, so he does have shoes. He do got shoe. This might be a little too much line weight. Let's try and cut back a little bit there. Let's try 80. It's a little smoother. Make it a little easier too by the line being bigger. Oh, really? I'll cook anything. Last night I made four batches of fudge and choco chip cookies for my aunt's birthday. That's impressive. I, I vaguely remember hearing somewhere that fudge isn't really all that easy to actually make. I can't have too much chocolate or I feel sick, so I could barely eat one piece. Oh, that's the worst. Is nothing sadder than... Like, this is why I know I could never be like a professional chef, because to me there's nothing sadder than putting a ton of work into making food and then not being able to actually eat any of it. Like, that's just heartbreaking to me. I didn't work too much with the fudge itself, but I added it in, but I added it into it. Still, it is pretty impressive, I think, at least. Also, uh, how have you been, Hemlock? Been a couple of, uh, ow hours, yeah, been a couple of hours. Thank you, Ethospot. I briefly baked pastry for my old cafe, and the only fun part is people coming back to buy more after trying it. That must be really satisfying to see, though, to, like, have that kind of really immediate and material way that you can see, oh, people really like the stuff I make. Oh, cool! You do one of those farm share things, too? Well, I, I don't actually do it, just uh, a relative does that. That's cool, though. It looks like something fun to try sometime. I didn't really have a big enough bowl because I did two batches at a time and almost stripped it once. Ooh, yeah. Fudge feels like something that would make a ton of mess.
I made cordial cherries for last Valentine's, and people told me they were the first cordial cherries they actually liked. Aww. I'm glad to hear that you got that kind of experience. But yeah, Farmshare tricks me. Oh, dropped. Well, I mean... Sometimes... I, I don't know what I was about to say, actually. <laughs> Something like, sometimes... You gotta... Sometimes you drop the food, and sometimes the food drops you. But that's nothing. <laughs> um, oh. oh, I, I know where you're coming from with that, though, Hemlock. Uh, I'm gonna be moving out into my partner's apartment in... Let's see, this is February, so like a little over a um, month, and uh, a little over two months. So I've got to uh, I've got to make sure that I'm able to get stuff that is healthy and that they'll eat and that I'll eat. So I might have to get into a farm share too somehow. Mm-hmm. It's very exciting. I'm also very anxious because uh, I don't actually have like a driver's license or uh, since it's out of state, I also don't have uh, at the moment insurance that would cover me long term up there. So uh, that, that's been a little ang anxiety inducing, but overall, I'm still definitely looking forward to it. I know my partner is really looking forward to it too. If you, if, you, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, uh, as long as I can get those two main concerns taken care of, I feel like I'm going to be in an all right place. It was almost wisdom. Insert inspirational speech. Let's give him a little wider of a stance, maybe. The big boy. This is his big boy throne. He's got a big boy throne. He's got a big boy stance. I'm choosing cheese, and there's too many cheeses. Are you sure that's a problem? Because that, that doesn't really sound like too much of a problem. Oh, um, also, um, I don't want to distract you too much from doing your homework, Sugar, because I have to be a responsible adultier adult to you, but uh, if you want, I don't I don't know if you've been in the stream since I added the uh, channel point redeems, so you might find some fun stuff in there to spend points on. But again, you should be focusing on your homework too, young man. That's actually another good question, though, uh, come to think of it. what uh, What's everyone's favorite cheeses? 
What are your favorite cheeses, chat? Personally, I think I'm probably a biggest fan of... Oh, uh, there was one that I tried. It was this uh, cave-aged cheddar. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of cave-aged cheese before, but apparently you can just do it. And like, if you do it in the right way, it ends up developing these really cool like flavor crystals inside the cheese. It was it was an expensive cheese, so I can't really have it all that often, but it was very good. Uh, Parmesan. Parmesan, very solid cheese. Always a good one for cooking. This local place has a habanero cheddar. Mmm. It's been a while since I've been able to have, like, a, uh... Like a cheese with a good mix-in that wasn't just like some kind of fruit or something. Like nothing against cheeses with fruits or nuts or anything like that. Just like, uh, it's not really my thing. I see a cave-aged Gouda here. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, you, you should definitely try that if you can, Hemlock. It's the kind of thing that on paper I wouldn't have thought... Oh, yeah, I definitely want to eat cheese that has little crystals growing in it. But in practice, it turned out to be just very good. It's $11, but there isn't much else here I want. Well, I mean, have you ever tried it before? Oh, I see Hydrate. Thank you, Galaxy. I haven't tried this one before, but I love Gouda and I'd like to make some fancy mac and cheese. Ooh. It has been too long since I last had really good mac and cheese. Do you have any, uh, like, do you know of any recipes to make a good homemade mac and cheese? Nope, go back. Man, mac and cheese was just the shit growing up, you know? Mostly make a bechamel and then wing it with different cheeses I like and onion spices. Hmm. Huh. Oh, thank you, Bridgie. Oh, th thank you, Bridgie. Thank you very much. Glad to see you around. Take a uh, take whatever you want to hang out. What is it? Uh, what is this you're working on? So, um, on Mondays and Wednesdays, I try to do a art stream where I take someone who is uh, like a follower or a friend or a mutual and I draw uh, the VTuber persona that they have. So uh, today, I he, he actually is in chat. Uh, if you see the user Sugar Spike, he's doing homework right now though. Uh, but yeah, he, he has a really cool looking design for his. He, uh, he his persona, uh, VTuber persona is Hades here, uh, as in, yeah, just like the actual, the death god, but he has this really fun twist on the design where he takes, like, the more Egyptian-styled animal head motif and transplants that into the, uh, the Greco-Roman stuff. I, if you ever get a chance and he ever feels like showing it, he also did really cool versions of the other brothers. I 
think that uh, Zeus is, I, I know that Zeus is an eagle. I don't remember what uh, Poseidon is. Uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, everyone at my mother's and aunt's work didn't realize that I baked and was good, and now they want me to make them things, and I see a way to make mun muns. Good on you. Honestly, if you can find any way to do something that you really enjoy already and to still make some kind of uh, way to support yourself further off of that, go for it. As long as you keep enjoying it, though. If you ever stop enjoying it, like, take a break. You deserve that much. So, uh, how was your day, Bridgie? I've asked, uh, I think I've asked everyone else in chat at this point. been all right. I actually managed to cook something. Well, good for you. What did you cook? Well, thank you, Sugar. Oh, and Sugar, while you're here, uh, Bridgie, Sugar is the owner of the Hades VTuber design. He drew it all by himself. I'm going as, as your designated uh, as one of your designated mom friends, Sugar, it is my job to embarrass you with compliments. Hey, an omelette is still, is still good cooking. No sense in putting your skills down regardless. Are you the kind of person that likes- oh yeah! Poseidon was a dolphin. That was the one I was forgetting. Uh, are you the kind of person that likes to put stuff in your omelets? Or are you more like uh, plain eggs, maybe with like milk, butter, that sort of stuff? Mmm, cheese. Yeah, we've been on and off talking about cheese-related foods for a little while now. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to turn off the symmetry for this part. It's not really coming out the way I was hoping it would, so... <laughs> Determination and artistic world-building liberties. Let's get a closer look here. Okay. Let's oh, oh, let's zoom out a little bit. And to give him a neck and a slightly more mammalian appearance. Alright, so let's see. I was gonna kind of try and do this like an arched finger deal. So maybe something like Uh, let's lower the brush size down a little bit. Oh, uh, this also reminds me, since I have it open at this point, uh, you know, uh, Bridgie, uh, I don't actually have anyone lined up for the next slot after, after I finish up Hades. Just, uh, just saying. 
Oh, hey, Dio. Artists are always so wild to me. I can't imagine being that good at anything, even with years of practice. Fair, but I mean, I couldn't imagine being any good at being nearly as fast as you are at some games. So, yeah, take that, <laughs> Dio. I'd have to think about it. I don't even know what I'd want at the moment. That's fair. Right now, I've just been doing, like, general request things. Uh, people haven't really came with design ideas. It's mainly just been me doing whatever kind of felt right in the moment for the character. Oh, well, sure, Dio. Um, it's been going pretty well. It uh, took a... took a probably about half an hour or so to really start picking up in terms of, like, uh, just general chit-chatting. Um, but, yeah, it's been going pretty well after that, I think. Just drawing an underworld god, talking about cheeses. Good day. Maybe something like that? Man. Hands suck. I appreciate having them and everything they do for me. But man, hands suck too. Oh no, uh, talking about cheeses actually. Although I guess you could also argue that Jesus is a kind of underworld god. <laughs> well, you know what they say, praise Jesus. Gonna have to work on being quippier, too, so I can get some good clip-worthy stuff now and then. Mm, let's... Let me look at one of these bony bastards on my wrist and see how... See how that looks. Mm, so it's kind of like... Yeah, I'm still gonna have to go longer then. Hmm. <laughs> Is Jesus not Jesus not clippy enough for you? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what people will clip and won't clip. That's that's more. That that sounds like more of a you problem, Hemlock. <laughs> But assuming that I'm finished with um, with Hades here at some point, with time to spare this week, I am going to be looking for another person to draw, so hopefully I'll be able to find a volunteer one way or another. It took me like 10 minutes to clip 45 seconds from my stream today, but I'll see... Don't push yourself, Hemlock. You already do, honestly, probably way too much for me. <laughs> uh, come on, undo that one. There we go. Hades. Feh. Overrated freeloading trust fund, kid. Back in my day, we just killed our parents and split the world into three convenient kingdoms to rule.
I have no idea what this song is, but it sounds so, so familiar. <laughs> As it should be. Ooh, ooh. Holy shit, I just tried to check where the second audio source was coming from, from my computer. Did you find it? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Smile. It's some kind of anime OP, but my brain won't focus. Well, my lovely, I'ma head out as I love to see you. Alright. Thank you so much for stopping by Galaxy, and I hope to see you again sometime. But have a good rest of your day. Yeah, fun fact about, uh, about me is that, um, when Dr. Valentine sewed me together, they put, like, around five or so, bye-bye, they put around five or so people's worth of vocal cords in me, so sometimes I can just do random voices that aren't mine. It's a fun little talent. It's not a super practical one. I tried to make it work a little bit for something like uh, voice acting, but I don't know. I'm not. Oh, hold on. <sighs> Well, thank you, Dio. I haven't really had too much of a chance to totally do VO stuff with that kind of range. Hmm. Well, I, I had kind of given up on it a little bit because, like, um... To be honest, I'm actually really bad at self-promotion. Uh, the reason I'm able to do it more as a VTuber is just because I've got this layer of separation where I'm, I technically am still just promoting myself, but I'm promoting myself through the veneer of Bee Bunny, which lets me be a little more unabashedly a fan of my work. Um, but I mean, I know that people have gotten into voice acting through being like streamers before, so who knows? Maybe I will be able to do something like that someday. I'd like it. Don't know if it's realistic, but I'd like it. But uh, thank you for the compliment. I haven't really been doing uh, vocal training in terms of like uh, transition stuff for very long now at all, but uh, it's always flattering to hear that I'm making enough progress to be surprising. Let's undo that bit. And give him some long pianist fingers. Actually, that's a good question. Uh, oh, here we go. You get that voice from me. I put your little slime soul in your body at the request of your doctor. It was a lot of trouble chasing you around hell and convincing you to get in, but you probably don't remember. Such is the gift of the River of Amnesia. Yeah, well, just for that, I'm gonna give you really long, slender pianist fingers. What, what do you think of that, sugar? I 
Okay, come on. Let me cut back on some of those. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dio. That's very flattering. Long finger fingers for long working hours. Mm. I gotta stretch my leg. Ugh. You ever wear pants that are just a little too tight, so if you fold your legs wrong, your, like, the inside of your knee gets just super, super chaffed? No, not chaffed. Uh, chafed. That's the word. Chafed. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Oh. You aren't wearing streaming pants, B. All right, all right. I'll I'll tell you what. Hold on a sec, Hemlock. There, now I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> I am free. I have taken the weighted training bracelets in my pants off. You know, honestly, I feel like since this is such a, uh, there is that layer of separation with the avatar, you know what, sure, I'd, I'd totally be down with making some, one of the silly redeems be like, take off your pants. It's not like anyone can see my, my flesh, my flesh person. Well, you only see me from waist up on actual camera. I might not even wear pants next time. Yeah. I mean, if you if you want to not, more power to you, I guess. Oh, and, um, while I see the people here, let me, let me see if I can do one of these this time. Uh, ba -ba -ba, scrolling back up. I don't know if the command will actually work, but let me try. Also, I don't know why it's only giving me the badge. That's so useless. 
Um, okay, I, I still can't, uh, still can't do it, it seems. But uh, if anyone in here isn't uh, also following uh, both uh, Bridgie, Nina Mori, and Hemlock Stone, highly recommend them. Both very cute. Both very nice and chill people to watch. Okay. Yeah, you better, Uwu. Mix. Mix, I'm made of stone and am somehow still very cute. Okay, that's four fingers. I hate drawing these bony little bastards. But such is the way of hands. Such is the way. It's a Pygmalion situation, but I made myself into my ultimate anime. That's extremely, that's an extremely powerful sentence, Hemlock. Ah, but if that's the case, does that mean that there will never be a Hemlock 2.0? I will adjust my model until I die. God, that's a mood. Oh, let's see. Looks like I have a little over... A little over an hour, I think. I can't actually remember because I remember I'm messing around with different like stream start and stop times this week. So I think I think my schedule said that I've got like another hour. God, I really need to remember my own schedule better. Someday I'll have a chiropractor stream where I just rig myself. That is a very fun way of saying that. So outside of streams, have any of y'all watched anything good recently? Like, it could be TV series, anime... Okay, thank you, Hemlock. Geez, at this rate, I wonder if I should just mod you already. <laughs> Beastars Season 2 so far. Ooh. Ooh. Beastars is one of that, those shows where I absolutely love the animation style. I think it's gorgeous. I love what I understand through kind of spoilers, I guess, of the main characters. 
I think they look super sweet. They're a very cute dynamic. I've been screaming about Higurashi and RE0. I... The one thing for Beastars is I worry that from what I've seen, the story would be too dark and too like emotionally, thematically heavy for me to really be able to just like totally enjoy it, if that makes sense. I, I, like, I don't know how much, uh, what the ratio between lighthearted to, oh, this is really serious stuff, it is. Mostly serious stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Higurashi, Ari Zero, and Bofuri. All right. Um, what what would you say that your sales pitches for those three series would be? Uh, Hemlock. I know that. Um, or at least I think I know that uh, Higurashi is one of the original like. Oh, these are really cute moe girls, and now they're all going mentally unstable and killing themselves and other people, so... Wow, that got dark fast. I, I know it's one of those series, but I don't really know anything else about it. Uh, really don't know anything about R about ReZero or uh, Bofuri. Bofuri Nut? Bofuri Deeds Nuts? Is, is that what that anime is? Uh, let's see... I need to move this fat... this fat bony little bastard up the hand. Oh, hey, Horatius! Uh, I hear sweetness and lightning is very... is good and very pure. It's a new Higurashi series, and it's just pretty much dark mystery. R Re Zero has amazing writing and character development, and Bofuri is sweet VR MMO Moe Girls. Sweetness and Lightning is about cooking. Hmm. These are interesting because I really don't think that I've heard about any of these. Like, I I have seen the um I have seen the trailers for Re Zero, and I remember it really rubbed me the wrong way because it just sort of looked like generic, uninteresting anime dude that has uh, a bunch of wives and he keeps dying. Um, but I'll definitely have to look into those things. I am interested. At the very least, I want to check the stuff out, give it a fair shake, you know? Also, um, artists in the chat, it's actually, like, it's, like, actually good, but people focus on the worst waifu. Like, I understand with the modern-day anime industry that we have to specify, but part of me also really hates that we have to specify between multiple waifus, you know? But I mean, I, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any horse in this race, so, uh, who is the worst waifu? 
I've heard that a discourse like this is good for is good for ratings, so The blue haired Oni girl Rem. My wife who is worth worse. Rem is fine, but she's boring. Yeah, I I mean, I guess, like, from all of the stuff I saw in the trailers, she was the most prominent, but also the one that had, like, the least any, like, uh, demonstrable expressions. Amelia has character and trauma. Okay, now that's all well and good. But tell me this, Hemlock. Are any of them MILFs? Or better yet, are any of them GILFs? Also, hey Horatius. How was your day? Glad to have you here. Guy, I fucking hate hands. Bony bastards. Up and down, but all is well. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry to hear that the day had some uh, low points, but I'm glad to hear that it's looking on the mend for you. The only MILF likes to disembowel people. Hmm. Well, I mean, I feel like if we want to get really pedantic that... Uh, disemboweling people would make me want to not friend that particular mother, so I feel like I have to say that by virtue of that, she is not a MILF, because she is not a mother I would like to friend. God, I fucking hate drawing hands. Uh, let's see, how did that look again? Oh yeah, that, that looks like absolutely nothing. Let's just try re-undoing this, maybe. Oh no, my buns! I forgot my buns! Sugar! Sugar, your buns! Go! Go get your buns! I, I didn't know you were making buns, but go, go get them. Thank you, Ethos Spot. Mm. Oh. All right. Thank you, sugar. Alright, um, other artists in the chat, I have an important question for you. Does it, does this look, does this look like it's a, does this look like it's a fucking hand? Is 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 this a, is this a fucking hand, you guys? 
think it needs a little more rest before the arm goes out. Oh, hold on. Ooh, I think I pulled something there. That's not good. Got an old lady body. How did I how did I stretch my ear? That makes no sense. Ah gonna feel that in the morning. See, it needs to, it needs a little more wrist before the arm goes out. Hmm. Okay. Let me see if I can figure that out. Mainly because I don't totally know what that means. Because I went to an art school, but didn't actually too much art. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm a fake art girl. No, it's not that I think it sounds insane. It, it's just I'm not very good at interpreting. Like a little a little bit more straight line before the forearm fat. Okay, I, I think I get what you mean. Also, I can probably put the symmetry back on for this part. Oh, by the way, did you guys hear about uh, Miku Sona Monday? That was really exciting to see. Does anyone else know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Mikusona Monday. Uh, so the company that manages Hatsune Miku made a press release that uh, basically it it explicitly expressed support for the uh, Black Lives Matter movement but uh, in the process also basically said that yes as long as as long as your mikus aren't hurting anyone any expression of miku hatsune regardless of uh body gender nationality any kind of interpretation like that they are all valid so if anyone has ever had a miku Persona, congratulations, you're now canon. Well, congratulations, Hemlock, you're now a Miku. Oh, well, I mean, it's turning into a drawing challenge. So if you want to draw yourself as Miku or like a Miku Sona, you're totally allowed to. And like the drawing tag is also very explicitly, uh, it does not matter how your Miku presents in terms of anything. All Mikus, as long as they are not intended to be harmful are valid mikus. Okay, I think I've made this a little better.
And sometimes I wonder how I manage to trick people into thinking I'm an artist. That's fucking wild. Yeah, that, that kind of looks like... That kind of looks like an arm. Okay. Maybe thumb a little longer, though. Hmm, let's see. Oh no! All the liquid in my syringe pencil seems to have dried up. I, I don't totally know what a syringe pencil is, but it sounds sharp and kind of dangerous, so I hope you're being safe. I'm stuffing potato into puff pastry so my response is will slow. That is totally fine, Hemlock. I hope you have good potato. It's a mechanical pencil that looks like a needle. Oh, that is cool. Mm, okay, I th think that's about right for scale. Just go over it to make it a little clearer, slash to get the reflection. I don't know about syringe pens, but I think growing up my favorite novelty pen was, uh, it had all of these little, like, gears and cogs and clockwork stuff in it, and it was a transparent plastic housing, so you could see all that stuff too. But I think what made it my favorite was um, the button that you would push to like, you know, like extend the, uh, extend the actual pen part out, the pen nib. Uh, when you pressed on that, the gears turned in word, and uh, on top of the pen there was this little um, there was this little plastic horse, and when you pressed the button, the gears whirred and turned in such a way that it made this, uh, <laughs> kind of noise, and the, uh, the mouth on the horse would also, uh, it would also move because of the gears, so it was like this little animatronic toy on top of my pen. God, I loved that pen. Tinder? Also, hey, Heavy. Uh, what do you mean by Tinder? You saying that you're getting into the dating world? Oh, the Tinder ad. <sighs> Tinder. You should know better, Tinder. These are people that I have tricked into watching me a anime draw other animes these clearly aren't people that are going to have that much sex no offense guys i mean i watch myself and i know i'm not going to be having that much sex I'll have you know I have had plenty with knowledge. I'm sorry, are you saying that... Are you saying that you have had plenty of sex with knowledge?
because if so, that is a wild thing to be confessing in a public chat. <laughs> Absolutely, and our children are beautiful. Wow. Oh, wow. I, I can't believe, Sugar, that you have had Warrior Cat, well, that you have made Warrior Cat love. That is wild. But, I mean, good on you for living your best life. You think the cats love sugar? I mean, I imagine so. Cats, I know cats love fat and protein, so they probably love sugar too. And I love you. And I love you too, random citizen. We will have a summer wedding. <laughs> well, that's nice. I hope you invite me. Oh, what was that? I heard an alert go off. Oh, thank you, Heavy. Thank you for the host. Well, that's very nice sounding, though, uh, Sugar. I hope you invite me. Oh, you got your buns? Did they turn out okay? It's killing me. Mm-hmm. Got your condensed milk to dip them in. Oh. I gotta prep for D&D &D and I don't wanna. All right. Uh, how about this? Tell me what you need for D&D &D and I will prep for you. I'm always a slut for role-playing games. They're good. A little hard, because I definitely was supposed to steam these, but like... I adore chewing on rocks. Hey, as long as you like them, that sounds very successful to me, so good job, sugar. You did a thing, and I'm very proud. You are it. You are trying, and I'm very proud of you for it. Even when it's not easy, I'm still very proud. I need to describe a throne room and make an evil advisor that they don't immediately think is evil. Okay. Uh, I brought everyone who was in my test stream. <laughs> Lawyer. I mean, that that is certainly a valid way of making an uh, evil advisor. Um, okay. The issue is my evil baddies possess people. So is this actually the advisor that's evil then? Or is this something evil possessing the advisor? <laughs> so anyone could be evil. Lawyers. <laughs> Okay, so the advisor is possessed. Um, I then would play up the features that aren't, or that are actually just a normal part of their personality. So, like, play them as you would any NPC normally, and just, just have that kind of dissonance going on, I think would be best. Like, like if they're normally a very affable person, they're still a very ass at the yeah, yeah, yeah. they're still a very affable person but they're now just very serene about being that kind of hmm? what's this uh oh that that could work heavy but um hemlock's trying specifically to make them not evil on uh, a first encounter hey b 
Mega wants to know if you want to play the Monster Hunter Rise demo on Switch later. Hmm. I, I don't actually have that downloaded, but I might be able to. I'm not sure. It could I, I could be able to do that, but... But yeah, that that would uh, that would be my advice for you for the uh, the advisor. Make it make it so that this is still basically their normal personality, but maybe they are reacting in just a way that's a little off. They're just maybe a little slower than normal, or they're a little more subdued in terms of how they react to stuff. Maybe they do a social kind of cue just a little off. Being subtle and evil as an NPC is too obvious that they are evil. Uh, I mean, I guess that is a take, too. As for the throne room, um, as for the throne room, I think that it should be... I think it should be th centered around I think it should be centered around a big feast style dining table as the main focal point of the room. Um let's go with some nice big kind of kind of stained kind of fogged glass windows. Uh, lining the walls, a couple of chandeliers, maybe something like uh, heavy dark woods for the support pillars and the wall paneling. Uh, actual throne, uh, keep it keep it on the subdue subdued side, I think. They need to meet with a duke to ask him to stop a logging company. Sounds very nice. Well, I'm I'm glad that I could help. The last person they clocked was an assistant who called them dumb. I like to imagine that they didn't even actually clock them. They just wanted they just wanted that to be true because they didn't like their personality. The ranger just wanted him dead because he was mean. Yeah, I, I figured as much. I'm absolutely dying here trying to eat my buns, and my dad just walks in. <sighs> this guy. I'm gonna fight your dad, sugar. I'm not even a father surrogate, but I will fight him for paternity rights. I don't I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I'm just Ah, right. You you are fighting him to become the father of yourself first. I forgot about that. That's the spirit. Oh, oh no. 
That does not sound good, sugar. Oh, okay. I, I was worried that, like, it was breaking your teeth or something. Relieved to know that's not the case. Crunch bread. It might... Oh, be careful, sugar. Um, maybe you could, like, soak some of it in the milk. That could help. Yeah, I, I would suggest trying to get it at least a little soggy, though, if, the, if it's a crunchy, if it's a crunchy time. I'm holding these bitches halfway in milk like Achilles straight out of the womb. Yeah, I'm holding these bitches halfway in milk like Achilles straight out of the womb. Yeah, Achilles' mom really did just pop that sucker right out the bus, right out the gussy, the god pussy, and just dip that sucker right in the river. Cover that baby in all that magic river water gold. And can you imagine? I can't. <laughs> Honestly, though, I, I really like the interpretations where it's like, okay, well, why didn't she just, like, uh, grab him by a different spot and dip him a second time? But I think my favorite one is the one where someone suggested, what, what if she got, like, a sifter? And just kind of put him in there like a colander and just just sort of shake him around a little bit. Yeah, he would have been invincible all the way if she used one of those fryer baskets. I think the rule is one dip. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe. Man, it's still snowing outside, too. I was kind of hoping that the nor'easter would have blown over by now. Anyone else dealing with snow right now? Cods are very picky and such. I've heard horrible stories. Ooh, yeah. Gods are both great and not super great. You're a fan of snow, Hemlock? Tomorrow is my second snow day. Hey now, we're picky for a reason. Hey now, we're picky for a reason. Partner got to work from home, so we got to have coffee. That, that's nice. That's nice, Hemlock. Has anyone heard the story of Medusa? Which one? There's a whole bunch of different takes on that one.
Okay, so it's like a waistcoat with a little bit of pointed tails, rolled up sleeves, slacks. Man, I spent so long on the gosh damn hands on this one that everything else is still a work in progress. This is definitely going to be a multiple uh, doodle day affair. Gotta remind myself that this is intended to be a doodle still. So I gotta be able to stop myself from going too crazy. Oh, please. She faked that story. She didn't turn people to stone. She was just discouraged by her snake hair and decided to be a drama queen about it. That lady has been such a Karen since Aphrodite cursed her. Not the gods' fault that you can't get a Tinder date. I have successfully consumed all of the crunch bread. Good work. A little late, but I'm always on the side of Medusa wasn't cursed, she was blessed. Perseus is the bad guy. Agreed. Like, all joke jokes and role-playing aside, there is a reason why uh, Medusae in, uh, in ancient Greek was also a term used to uh, mean things like protector. And it's also why things like shelter for, uh, shelters for uh, women that were being abused had uh, pictures of Medusa's head on them. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think that's one of the biggest tragedies of uh, studying ancient folklore. It's that folklore, like all forms of popular media, even when it was phrased as something like religions or mythology, as it's thought of now, it still is something that is a form of popular media, and like all forms of popular media, people who are in control of society are going to be using it to shape and rearrange it how, uh, however it suits their personal needs best. So like, of course, we only have the versions left of stuff like Greek myths that are super misogynistic or super uh, uh, homophobic because well, no, actually not homophobic, but, uh, yeah, just super sexist, super shitty versions of the gods, because that was part of the, that was part of the narrative that was what the, uh, what the dominant parts of society wanted to be told, so we'll never get to, like, well, it sucks because we'll never get to have, like, what what was the version of Zeus that made him still a popular god with people that weren't men in power? 
Like, what would that, what did that Zeus look like? And we'll just, like, never be able to get an answer to that. And it fucking sucks. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that 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 probably would have done it. Uh, that probably would have done it, sugar. Oh wow. Oh yeah. That definitely is why. Then there's your problem. That that does remind me though. Uh, one time, I was alone at home and I was trying to reheat. This uh, plate of lasagna from uh, the from the night before, uh, I put it in the oven, I uh, the microwave. I got it all set there. Uh, I put it on for three minutes because it, it, there was a lot to heat through it, and then I left to go take care of some other stuff I was working on. Um, like twenty minutes later. I start wondering, wait a second, I had lasagna in the microwave. I only put it on for three minutes. Why haven't I heard the alarm yet? I go back to check. Uh, the microwave is now smoking. Uh, and I hadn't put it on for three minutes, chat. I'd put it on for three hours. So that was an absolutely ruined lasagna, but I'll tell you what I did learn that night. I learned that you can make homemade Cheez-Its. I, I, I just told you. I, ha I, have the, uh, I have the autistic slash ADHD brain where I can just forget about things. Uh, but that is how I discovered that uh, you can actually make pretty good homemade cheeses by <laughs> taking lasagna and overcooking it by about 17 minutes in the microwave it all got like compressed down <laughs> into almost a single cracker layer of cheese and pasta it was very challenging to eat but it was also <laughs> it was honestly also still kind of fun <laughs> I'll never want to repeat it, don't get me wrong, because it was, uh, terrible for the microwave. But still. Man, maybe I'm just really off on my art game today, but I have not been super satisfied with, uh, with how I've been going today. Pretty good and challenging to eat. Yes, pretty good and challenging to eat. Uh, I am the kind of person that enjoys taste, really enjoys texture, and doesn't really mind the other stuff. So uh, it was a, a challenging thing in a literal sense to chew and swallow sometimes, but it was kind of like a fun challenge, I guess? Oh, hey, Epitome. Um, let's see, we have mainly been talking about a mix of <sighs> Hades and cheese and disasters with cooking and classical mythology. I have ARFID, so texture is the most important. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, uh, do you mind me asking what that is, uh, Hemlock? Well, my version is said like this. Medusa was a priestess of Athena who got cursed twice, once by Athena for breaking her celibacy, which wasn't 
her choice, by the way. Second was Aphrodite for having an affair with Poseidon. That's the one where she got the snake hair, do. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, a lot of myths were told in a hundred different ways that just kind of got conglomerated together like that. Let's see, avoidant restrictive food intake disorder. Extreme picky eating. Huh. I have never heard of that before. But that is very interesting. Yeah, this is, this is a chill chat, you guys. You don't have to shout. So, out of curiosity then, uh, Ham, what for you... Oh, okay. I couldn't eat meat as a kid because it was bad texture. Now my body thinks it's poison. Wow. I mean, I get what you mean because, like... Food texture is also a huge thing with the uh, autistic brain, but that is that is fascinating. I have never heard of I have never heard of that before. It's technically an eating disorder, but that naming scares people. Mm. I mean, I, I can understand why, but eating disorders are such a they're such a more nuanced variety of disorder than people usually think of it. I can't stand the taster of co of the the texture of coconut. That's weird to me. Yeah, I'm with you there. Coconut is weird. And it's more than... It's more that it's disordered eating rather than the stigmatized eating disorder. Oh, oh, it was about the microwave stuff. Okay. I don't know, that sounds like a you problem, epitome. Should read The Day I Rode My Bike by Mega Bonker. Hmm, never heard of it. Things you learn when you're bored. No matter how long you leave a m m in the microwave, it won't explode until you try and touch it. Really? I wonder why that is. Or was that more of like a anecdotal thing rather than a like, and here's the link to how I figured that out kind of thing? I 
I let it run for an hour. <laughs> have you ever done peep jousting? I have not, Hemlock. What is all bite though? What is peep jousting? I don't know why my art brain is so picky today. Picky, picky, picky. You put two peeps in the microwave and whoever's peep explodes first loses. That sounds like a lot of fun. Or it, I think that probably would have sounded more fun when I was uh, still a kid. Now it just sounds like, oh my god, I gotta clean out the fucking microwave, that's gonna be so miserable. I've done peep jousting, just don't like the taste of peeps. That's fair. Peeps are definitely a acquired taste, by which I mean it tastes like sugar, mixed with more sugar. So, if that ain't your thing... Uh, that ain't your thing, Chief. I mean, it's it's not like you can really get peeps just any time of the year, though, right? Like, you don't... Like, if I somehow came to your house right now, I would not find a mountain of secret peeps stashed away, would I? You can, though? Oh, uh, let's see. B, can you chubby bunny on stream? Um, yes, I I can chubby bunny on stream. Uh, I do not have anything to chubby bunny with, however. Uh, you can, though. There's a website. B, I have two peep plushies? Oh my god. Hemlock. Hemlock. <sighs> I know it's going to be extremely hard for both of us, but I need you to be I need you to be straight with me for a second. How often do you eat peeps and how many? Someday I'll show you my sons. I don't eat peeps that often, to be honest, but I would if I was going to the store. I miss eating tons of candy. Hmm. Also, not gonna lie, Hem, I thought for a hot minute before you said the stuff with the website, I thought you were just saying, like, oh, if I ever went to your house, I would see, like, a stockpile of peeps. I thought you were saying... Oh yeah, I can come to your house. <laughs> Thank you, Ethos Spot. If you came to my house, you'd be confused by all my onions. I mean, onions are very good. My partner is a very picky eater, so they don't eat onions in a ton of things unless they're made just right or they're one of many ingredients. Yeah, there's probably some way to there's probably some way to edit the bot that way, but for now, this works fine. Uh, but my partner is really picky, so I have to kind of work onions in as just another ingredient where I can. Which sucks, because I really, really enjoy onions. They're uh, next to garlic, one of my favorite aromatics to work with. So I love including them and stuff. I'm hoping to trick them into eating a lot more vegetables, though, once I'm able to move in with them. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, uh, I I would, but I uh, we do we do not have any sort of like fryer or air fryer or anything like that to work with, so I'm not sure how. I mean, if y'all know another way of making fried food without a f deep fryer or an air fryer, I would be happy to give that a shot. You can hide the texture of onions pretty well in hash browns. Huh. I'm not... You know, I don't think I've ever tried to make hash browns before, but... Hmm. I mean, I certainly like potatoes well enough. I'll have to give that a try. Dice some potatoes real little, microwave them with a little dusting of sugar to, camer to caramelize, trust me, and fry in a neutral oil in a pan. Okay, alright. You've got me on the line, you can reel me in now. What, uh, what do I do then? Is that one of those, like, uh... And fry in neutral oil until golden brown sort of recipes. Just add some onions and fry until golden and crispy. Ooh, not gonna lie, that sounds really good. I'll definitely have to give that a shot then. You can also use just enough oil to coat the bottom and not use that much oil. Is that really the same as like fried food? If you microwave them for three minutes, it essentially cooks them for you, and you just have to crisp them. Huh. You are much more knowledgeable. And that's, oh, uh, so that's pan fried versus deep fried. I see. You are much more knowledgeable about this cooking thing than I am. I like to joke that I. I went to a liberal arts school that used to be like one of those uh one of, it used to be in an all women's college and like as with all all women colleges there were the jokes of how oh this is just like a school to learn how to become a housewife or some shit like that but I, I like to joke that I intended to go to actually learn stuff uh, that would be like job job skills, but then I accidentally just ended up with the housewife degree instead. <laughs> I was neglected as a child and my partner's mom never taught him anything. And those two things combine into home chef. Mm. Oh, I, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to hear about that sucky start to things, but I'm glad to hear that you have turned it into a valuable skill set.
Uh, yeah, yeah, I took uh, I took home ec in middle school too. And honestly, sewing was a very fun part of it. It's definitely why I got into like cosplay as easily as I did later. Another lesson from the past, a teaspoon and a tablespoon are two different things. Yes, yes, uh, very important distinction. Okay, let's see. Never make chili with tablespoons. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> My poor teacher. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try and do... I guess I'm gonna try and do the, uh, the head now. Epitome, no! Oh wait, he doesn't actually have, uh, repels at all. Eh, oh well, I like him with lapels. So, lapels he will keep. Gotta go dungeon some dragons. This is looking good, good luck. Thank you, Hem. I, 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 I know I'm gonna continue this into, uh, into Wednesday, but I'm... I'm starting to feel better about it, so thanks. Hope you have a really good D&D &D session, too. I might try and bug you about it later or something. Yep, cat hug. I was called the first Death Eater in the classroom. All right, now, now I have to see if I can do the thing that uh, Sugar himself struggles to do. Draw Hades from straight on. I kept the title for two years when I gave up after a spoon of wasabi. That, that sounds miserable as well. that far out I imagine and my you know my sinuses have been so bad for so long some days I might co even consider that sort of thing
Crystal. Have fun in Darkest Dungeon, Heavy. Oh, this is another one of those Vocaloid songs that sounds really familiar, but I don't know why or how. And thank you, Heavy. Does anyone know what the name of this song is? It sounds so familiar, but I really don't know anything about Vocaloid songs. I'll be honest, Trigger, I have no fucking idea how to draw these, uh, to draw this skull. Literally everything is gonna be guess. I can draw it in one sectional style, that would probably be easier. I'm getting hungry. Gonna have to stop for dinner soonish.
I said that I was going to start stop at 7 and I'm still going to stop soon but I really want to try and knock out the eyes because those are such a big part of this and by knock out I mean I'm not going to be able to do them justice so I'm just going to try to do them as best I can. I mean, this is the part of the design that Sugar said even he struggles with, so I'm not going to feel bad about not being able to get this just right. Oh, uh, by the way, while I'm slowly starting to wind down for the night, uh, if anyone has any recommendations for who I could raid after this, please send them my way. Because I want to, since I actually have that rare instance of I have more people than, oh, that I have more people than just me, and maybe like one or two others, I want to be able to throw that love on to someone else who's going to be streaming after this. So does anyone know of anyone? And there's going to be little, like, fiery stuff in there. That's going to look cool. And he's got eyebrows, but they got to be angrier eyebrows because he's a big, big, grumpy pants.
Okay, that is good enough for me tonight. So, uh, I am going to close out of the art program. I'm now going to shut out of my uh, video, too. So, uh, before I'm totally gone, let me just say thank you, everyone who showed up today. Uh, thank you to new subscribers. Thank you to old friends who came over to hang out. Uh, I'm going to be doing another art stream on Wednesday this week, so swing by then if you wanted to. Uh, I'll also be doing other streams. Uh, you can see the whole schedule and keep up with me over on Twitter. Uh, the link is down in the bio. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, I'll eat. Um, but... Yeah, thank you so much for, for coming by. I'm gonna hop off of the um I'm gonna hop off of the video capture so I can find us someone we can raid now. So thank you so much. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>